Soft matter physics is one of the fascinating areas in physics. A question arises, how did that particular area come into picture? So this is what I recently wrote. Soft matter, emergence of a physics domain. Recently, I read a nice interview with Sid Nagel, who is a pioneer in soft condensed matter physics. Sid Nagel has given an aura to an area of physics that was not considered fashionable even as late as 2010s. Part of his elevation is because soft matter physics has become so vital to understanding our everyday world, including biological systems, that it is hard to ignore it anymore. Chemical engineering, too, has played a major role in this elevation, and James Frank Institute at Chicago in the USA has been at the epicenter of this evolution. A major shift in thinking, especially among physicists, is thanks to P. W. Anderson. His essay, More is Different, did a great service to soft matter physics and complex systems by highlighting the importance of emergence. An interesting side note, by the way, the word emergence does not occur in his essay even once. It further got a major headway with a novel to Degenes. Suddenly, condensed matter physics had something to explore beyond electrons and their density functions. The French school also had a major hand to play in this particular evolution. For me personally, soft matter physics in a way makes physics experiments very democratic. One can still dare to do some breakthrough science in a tiny kitchen. This is what I wrote about soft matter physics and uh, one can see that soft matter physics has a lot to offer. It is not only democratic but also adds to the basic curiosity of human beings and that's one of the reasons why I like soft metaphysics.